Something that we haven't worked on in a really long time is the actual house. And I have plans for it. These plans require some wood. So, let's get some wood. Now, um, it's specifically this type of wood, by the way. Oak wood. And yeah. Besides that, I also need TNT. And some more TNT. I don't even know where I'm going with this. Will it make the cut? I have no idea. I'll see you on the other side of the wood harvest. Okay, I've got the wood and we can begin our project, I guess. So the first thing I want to do down here is clean up all this gross stuff on the walls so that they're just plain stone because I'm boring like that but that's fine and I think it'll look quite good once I'm done with that I do also have to fix some rounding issues a little bit so it's not so jagged everywhere but it'll look good another thing I want to get rid of is a lot of these alcoves and just paths leading off and I know I did say that I wanted to make it all kind of representations of the different biomes above ground but for now this main area should just be pretty singular and open not having any little spaces like this so, I know I said this strand was going to be the nether strand, but I've changed my mind, because as you can see up here, it goes out into an ocean, which means mobs will spawn there. And I want the nether to be dark, so I'm going to try to keep it on the mushroom or mushroom island. Oh, I say that wrong. I'm just going to block this off here. I'm not sure if the shore does spawn mobs, but either way. Might as well keep it uniform with the... Whatever it's called. So, the one thing I want to do in order to light this place, since I find torches the slightest bit ugly, is I want... to create hanging lanterns, kind of. As you'll see in, in a bit. Ah! <laughs> that is the worst. And... So, yeah. The plan for these is basically, they're made with redstone lamps, and, well, you'll actually just have to see what they look like. Don't really have a plan, although I've made them before, so I know what they, how they go. So, those two go there. Wood on the bottom here. Then I put the upside down pieces. Ah, oh, dang it. Put the upside down pieces under these fences to match the upper ones. And then, after that's all done, and I break all of this, if I can get around here, I come up to the top here, break out this piece of wood, and throw in a lever so it looks like that no well, that's not a very good angle it looks like that hanging from the ceiling and I think they look pretty good I'm gonna have several around the room here and this water stream won't be here either so that'll be nice and we'll see how that looks when I'm done with that okay I've got another lamp in there but I still need to fix up this back wall because it's a little bit gross if you know what I mean. As in there's gravel everywhere and stuff. So I'll see you doing that and I'll get back to you. So I was just collecting some more wood for my house down below here and Carlton messaged me saying do you have a book 
because I guess he wants to make an enchanting table. Um, he told me his coordinates, so we're gonna walk there now. Unfortunately, he doesn't have a nether portal, so it is the long journey in the overworld. But yeah, here we go. I'll keep you updated as we go. So I've been boating for a while now, almost at his house, I think, if I remember correctly. There was no more ocean for me to boat through, so I'm following this river in hopes that I'll get a little bit closer than I am right now. But I think it's almost morning, so we'll hopefully get there in daylight. Looks like this river ends though. Yeah, okay. I guess I have to walk the rest. Oh. Come here, boat. Oh, you get the boats back now. Hmm. Didn't even realize. Okay. Oh. Okay, let's keep going. I think I might see something off in the distance there. We're getting pretty close. I'm about 150 blocks out, so I feel like this might be his place. It looks kind of like... It actually looks like an NPC village, but there are features that I don't recognize such as this. Then again, I haven't explored a lot of these villages, so I can't be sure if it exists. No, it wouldn't. No. Oh, there's a path. Oh, wait, no, that's... Yeah, I, I haven't really been in any of these new desert... Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> desert villages. So. We'll have to see. Where are you? Um, I am looking for... Oh, I see him. Okay. okay. Shh. Shh. Let's go get him. Oh, God, he sees me. He sees me. I could so easily kill him. Oh, wait, no, no. Oh, dang, I reset my spawn. Oh, man. Um, he doesn't really have that much stuff at all. Why did... He already has books. Why did he need another one? Oh, well, I'll give it to him anyway. I guess we can explore a little bit. Maybe. I wish I had some, like, TNT or something to leave around, but it's sadly that isn't the case. These creepers are following me, too. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see a lot that we can do around here. He doesn't have a lot set up. Which is surprising, because he's been on the server for probably about a week now. Maybe he just doesn't play as much as I do. <laughs> Which would make sense. Okay, let's explore his downstairs region of his house. He has done a lot of mining, I think. Or it looks like it. Okay, I'll... I'll come back if I find anything else interesting. Okay, so we're back home. I just realized I forgot to give him back his ore that I took from his caves, but that's okay. It wasn't too much stuff anyway. Maybe I'll give him that later, another day or something. We'll have to see. And I get to... Oh, I can't even fit in my inventory. So yeah, I'll clean all this up and then we can go work on the house again in just a bit. So unfortunately, last time I was here, I lagged out and I had to rejoin the game and a bunch of mobs came while I was away. But the good news is, I guess somehow a skeleton managed to kill a creeper and we got a new music disc. How awesome is that? Okay, this will surely get to me to level 30. There's so many mobs here. If you can tell, my mob trap is actually going quite a bit quicker than normal. I've been doing some cave lighting between episodes that I haven't been recording, but yeah, it's working really well now. And I went way past level 30. Oops. Oh nice, two iron helmets, a bow. Cool. Okay, let's go back to the base and then 
We can work on some more stuff there. Okay, here we go. Level 30. Diamond pick. Why do I get such crap? At least it's up efficiency and not unbreaking. But that's almost an, a waste of an enchantment. Uh, I guess I'll take. I guess I'll take it. Whatever. I'll use it. Okay, back to the house to work on the house project. I think this place actually looks really sweet. Um, there are different places like over here where it could definitely use quite a bit more lighting. But we'll have to figure that out. Um, I think I want to kind of make my house on this little platform area here. Uh, I don't know why I put that bump there originally because that's where my house is going. But yeah, it's not a bad pick. I mean, it's, it's, an, it's what's it called? Efficiency. So that's pretty good. Okay, so I've kind of come up with a house design in a creative world, and I'm going to see how well it fits into this cave here. Um, it's kind of like a medieval house type thing. You'll just have to see as I go. The only problem I've noticed with this is I like having these little upside down stairs here because these logs look just weird. They look they look too big, I guess. I don't know. They just don't look right. But the problem with these is they convert the grass below to dirt, as you can see here. So we're going to have to think of something else to do there. If you can think of anything and want to leave it in the comments, then that would be fantastic. So basically, yeah, I'll finish up this row and then I'll get back to you. The next piece, of course, is the windows, because everyone needs windows. Unfortunately, I don't have any glass. Oh, and I'm doing everything wrong. But I guess if we just leave the glass out for now, it probably won't be a, too much of an issue. And then these small bits here won't be windows, because it looks pretty cool when they aren't, which you'll see eventually. This is also going to be the front entrance. And I plan on putting something on these two little pedestal kind of things there, such as a flower pot that's coming out in 1.4. But we don't have those yet, so we're going to have to wait for that to come around. Until then, I guess I can always drop my wood on the floor. Oh, or have a 1.3 glitch. And we can finish towering up for the rest of this little piece here. Oh, there we go. Falling all over the place. Unfortunately, this is a little bit of a waste of wood with these two bits here, but not too much I can do about that. And I'll finish up this sequence and get back to you. Okay, so now that that's done, this house kind of expands one block out on the top which makes for an interesting design i already noticed that we're running out of space in this area also another thing to point out i do realize it's kind of lame that i planned this house out beforehand and i'm not experimenting as we go but as there are some serious constrictions or problems with the fact that we don't have a ton of space ooh, i did that wrong um, I guess we're just gonna have to deal with it. Oh wait, no I didn't. Yeah, it's all good. Okay. So, the next piece is, of course, pillaring up these pieces here. And I don't have enough logs for that. But we can do a little bit. And see how that goes. Well, while we wait for these leaves to despawn, I guess I can get onto a different piece of the project, which is filling in these little holes that I left behind earlier. Something I probably should have done originally, but it won't kill the project to do it now. And of course with these frontal pieces I need the crossbeam. 
And you can probably tell now that with the sloped roof I'm going to be having, the V-shaped kind of thing, space is really going to be quite a large concern in this project. Okay, now that I have more of this wood, more than I actually need, we can do something completely different and start working on the second layer windows, I guess you would call them. They're pretty simple. I'm not sure if I want to close this off so it's a 2x1 there or if I want it to be a 2x2. Two two. I'll have to look at my original model and see how I did it and see if I like it. So yeah, it looks like I did do the 2x2 two two here and it looks pretty awesome for what I plan on eventually doing, so I think I'm going to leave that as is. As with this one, I have to go look again. I could always experiment, but there's not a lot of room to see what looks good and what doesn't. So I'll go back over to my creative world and look at that. So it is just the 2x2, two two, so I'll finish up these wood pieces here and I'll be back to you once they're all done. Actually, they are all done now, so I don't even have to worry about that. Okay, the next thing I want to do, a little bit off tangent here, is this little piece here. This is actually going to be the front porch. And so I need some wooden half slabs, which I'll go make right now. One, two, three. And I need these fences. So this is going to be the front porch, which will work quite well, I think, if I can even get over there. There we go. So I'm just going to have it going like that. Okay, I've got all of those done, as you can probably see. Uh, the next and final piece I want to do structurally wise is this last little what would you call it? I guess it's, uh, well, it's the basic basis for the roof. It'll eventually be the attic, I guess you could say. It's just gonna be a little thing like that. And then I can put the wood back here, and then there'll be a window. A small window, but a window nonetheless, inside of there. So there we go. And now we just have to do that on the other side, same way. And it turns out I forgot to do these pieces. One. And two. Okay, so that looks a little bit weird right now. <laughs> I promise you it'll get better. Or at least I'm hoping myself it'll get be better as well. What I want to do now is put in all of the stairs the roof. Let's see if we can get that looking nice. So I'm gonna make a ton of these and we'll get started with that I guess. It's like a parkour map trying to get around here. Okay so what I want to do is put the... how does this work? Yeah like that. I'm gonna put the stairs going down that way and then I'll have stairs above going the other way. But, one step at a time, right? Gotta keep trying to do as much as we can now, and I'll see if I can make this jump. Oh good. So I've gotten more food, and you can obviously see now why space might be a concern. I'm just one block from the roof. So, well actually it looks like it's working out just fine though. I've managed to get it going decently well. Oh, I'm getting stuck in the block. There. Oh, ah. 1.3 is so glitchy. I hate it, but I love it at the same time. Okay, so the idea is to take this strip and take it all the way over to that one and then do it with the rest of them. So I'm going to do that and get back to you. Okay, the next part of the roof I want to work on, because I'm not sure how far to extend this piece, is the piece in between these ones. The one that kind of goes in a V over top. This is really hard to explain. I'll do it with dirt because it might look pretty, pretty ugly. 
Oh, that's terrible. Okay, the one that goes like a that over top. So the way I'm going to be doing this, since it's a little bit complicated and we don't have any awesome blocks to make it look awesome, uh, is I'm going to be having... Mind my fail at explaining here. Um, it's going to be looking like this a little bit. If you can see what I'm trying to get at. And then it'll eventually blend into this piece here that comes down that way. To look like this over, oh, that's upside down. And then I'll have to do this other piece coming down too to see how to really do that properly. So I'll get back to you when all that awesome stuff is done. Oh, here's what I need. I need to put a wood piece there. Okay, so as you can see, it's pretty simple. And it's gonna work quite well. That, that looks a little weird, I'll admit. And if by weird you mean a little awesome, I'll totally agree. <laughs> Why am I so strange? <laughs> okay, I'll see you on the other side of that. Oh, and by the other side, I meant five seconds into the future where I ran out of steps. <laughs> so, I get to go craft more. Which means I'm also going to run out of wood blocks. Which means I'm going to have to go do some more farming. But yeah, I ran out of wood blocks. Why do I only have three? So unprepared. So unprofessional. Not that this is a profession at all. <laughs> I'm so weird today. That's okay. Being weird is awesome. Okay, and the final piece to this whole thing is... Adding this under part. Did I do that wrong? I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to look at the sides there and see how to that properly. Um, that's the general shape. Let's see if that looks any good. I do need more wood though. Okay, I did it just like this and I guess I wasn't really sure what to do then either. So we'll have to wait and see what comes of this hole. Okay, so I've got more stuff and we can just keep working on the roof here. Oh, I wish there was a faster way to do this. <laughs> Sadly, there isn't. And we'll have to keep going. Oh, this looks weird. Um, what did I do wrong? Did I... Oh, no, that's right. I just have to... There we go, there we go. And then that one there. Keep going up. And it should all work out beautifully. Okay, now that's half the roof done. I believe. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Um... I have to do this piece still. Oh, I'm missing. I'm missing a lot. We'll just put it that way. Well, let's pull her up and finish the rest, which means more of this. A little bit more of that, as awkward as that block placement was. And that's pretty good. Okay, that looks good to me. Oh. Awesome. So let's keep going with the project. I don't like those black spots there, but nothing I can do about that. <laughs> 